Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video on my channel. Now, today's video is a bit of an old one. Two years ago, in fact. But um, the title sounds interesting and nice. So I thought I was going to give it a shot. So this one for Matt Rose is called Reddit's Stupidest Breakup Reasons. Um, yeah, I think that could be quite hilarious. The last Reddit video we did, I think, was about people saying two things at the same time. We have not done many Reddit videos so far, so that's a good situation now and good uh, occasion to go with another one. I think this could be a lot of fun. So, um, enough talking. Link to the original video is in the description. Go mad some love and let's wait. Let, uh, back to the beginning. So, and let's get started. It's been a while since we've done a good old fashioned Reddit video. Plus, I've had a busy week and could do with an easy one to edit. So, let's sit back and look <laughs> at some of the stupid reasons Redditors have dumped or been dumped for. A boyfriend okay, of mine dumped go. me because his last girlfriend cheated on him, which meant that I would probably cheat on him too. My boyfriend. Oh. Ugh. Now that is a stupid reason. But probably his trust has just been so shattered that he can't trust anyone anymore. But that's a his problem, right? Like, she's done nothing wrong. And he broke up with her regardless. That sucks. Broke up with me because he was moving away to go to puppet school. She staunchly refused to save Voldemort and got angry at me for saying it. Her psychic told him I was secretly gay. What? We watched the movie Vanilla Sky and he started... One by one. I think I'm I think I'm losing track a bit. Way to go to puppet school. She's puppet school. I mean, I'm not trying to judge. If that is your dream, I guess go for it. But uh, what? <laughs> okay. Staunchly refused to save Voldemort and got angry at me for saying it. Yes. That is kind of weird, but it's also weird that you would break up with her for such a, a weird reason. Psychic told him I was secretly gay. We you know what? It's probably for the better. I would say you just dodged a bullet there. Because if all it takes for her to just change her opinions like that is some random fucking psychic, you're probably better. She's probably one of those astrology girls that believes in zodiac signs. Nah. I think that not much of value has been lost. No offense. Watch the movie Vanilla Sky, and he started crying and said he wasn't sure I was real anymore. Her voice. Wait. Let me look up the. Let me know. Let me look up what the is about because I've I don't know what that movie. Uh -huh. Vanilla Sky, science fiction, psycho psychology thriller film. Follows a magazine publisher who begins to question reality after being disfigured in a car crash. And because of that, he. Asked if you are real. What did it say? Let me go back. He wasn't sure I was real anymore. The fuck? Anymore. Her voice was annoying. What? And when speaking, she placed emphasis on the weirdest parts of the sentence. How did you get together with her in the first place if you found her voice that annoying? I smelled like soup. Sophomore. Ah, okay, yeah, that is definitely said. At justified. college, I was dumped by my girlfriend for her cow. She needed to spend more time getting what? ready for the fair. He made a dubstep album, and <laughs> I criticized the font on its cover before he put it out. She broke up with me for something that. Yeah, well, someone is insecure as fuck. What the? 
that I did in her dream. Again, nothing of value was lost. I had a buddy who once told us he had a girlfriend he broke up with because he would give her too many orgasms. Hey, yo. Let me get out of the way so I can screenshot that for the thumbnail. Yo, that is the IRL meme, the suffering from success meme. Huh? Like, imagine you, you're leaving her place. He just broke up with you and you're just thinking to yourself what the fuck did i do wrong like how what many orgasms and oh, my cock was too big for her gf left two that has got to be the weirdest one so far what the fuck? Toothbrush at my place. A couple weeks later, she saw a toothbrush and thought it was another girl's. And that's why she broke up with you? She also did not... Remember how the toothbrush looked? Again, if she's that insecure and something like that is enough for her to break up with you... I don't think you lost something. Guy tell me once that he was breaking up with me because Tyler plane flies solo and now he's like What? Last name was not plain. His anti-vaccine mum had a problem with me being vaccinated. Oh, oh boy. Yeah. Yeah, I don't even want to comment on that. I, I don't even want to say anything. Like, I don't understand how... Like, if you have your own opinion on something, sure. But... Then forcing that on other people and being upset if they don't want to have the same stuff or they don't want to believe in the same thing. No vaccinated. comment. I thought we were getting serious until one day I found out he was anti-beds. Completely refused to buy one, lay in one, or even look at one. He slept in a sleeping bag or on the floor. I was thinking to myself, like, what does that mean? Maybe it's some term that, term that I just don't know, because English is not my first language. Maybe it's just, like, some, some insider stuff. No, it's literally what it means. He was anti bets. What? Never in my life have I met a person that preferred sleeping bags over a normal proper fucking bed. Also, how is your room gonna look like? You just sleep on the floor with a sleeping bag. What? On the floor, she had Batman toes. What does that even mean? We got in yeah. a fight because what? he didn't want me drinking green tea. She laughed at Bro, you can't, you can't just... Context, why did he not want you to drink green tea? I mean, the reason is probably absurd and stupid, but what? Green tea, she laughed at her own jokes. But I don't mean a little titter or giggle. I mean a full-on, I'm a dolphin and I require the Heimlich maneuver. <laughs> I had a guy say, holy oh. cow, as he came once. That was it for me. The toaster I had. Hey, you know what? Maybe he was Indian. Maybe that was just his way of paying respects for a job done well. Ticked too loudly. She said the word immature like Emma. Wait, wait, wait. The toaster I had ticked too loudly. Bro, you're gonna die alone. What ticked the? too loudly. She said the word immature like Emma oh, I could not handle that shit. I dated a girl for one day. She broke up with me because, in her words, I was immortal. 
Please, sir, she was going for a what? more... What? I'm going to be a cop, which means I'm going to be a bit of a lone wolf for a while, you know. She was going to study criminology in college. Not me, oh, but my ex-girlfriend broke up with a guy because when singing the Beatles' Drive My Car, he added an extra... Beep, beep, mm. I didn't use his mother's recipe for pancakes. A ghost told her to. It was close to moving our stuff in together. Wait, wait, wait. A ghost? Yeah. She did you a favor, bro. A ghost what told her to. Was close to moving our stuff in together. Saw her flossing in the morning, and she was eating the shit that she flossed out of her teeth. She's uh 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 okay i don't uh, okay i don't think we can blame bro for this one saw a guy with a much bigger cock and left me yeah that's the kind of stuff that i would expect expect here from this post instead we got Weird fucking shit. Ouch. Probably what she said. I had someone break up with. Bruh. Kicking him while he's down. Oh my god. Outer Drive 313. Bro, you are a he menace. Said, I had someone break up with me because I showed her too many memes. Hey. Yo. Stop sending me troll face memes. Problem? I love you so much and want Bruh. to spend the rest of my life with you. We have to break up. If it's really meant to be, then we will end up together again like they do in the movies. Excuse me, what the fuck? Um... This is some teenage romance bullshit right there. Like, if someone in their 20s says shit like this, just run. This is like the stuff you see in teenage romance movies. That's so fucking cringe. What the? You're too perfect all the time. You eat too much ranch. My cousins don't like the way you hold your fork. I... Be thankful she left you, bro. There is something seriously wrong with her. I need to focus on my oboe right now. I shit you not. I literally just can't even. She told me God wanted her to break up with me. Apparently, ah. God also wanted her to date this new surfer dude that started going to her church a few weeks prior. I got dumped last. Ah, okay. Well, if it's God's will, we can really do anything about it, right? It's the higher power. Bro. Jesus. Imagine dragging God into your dumbass shit. He's just watching from up there like, bro, shut the fuck up. I have nothing to do with this. Last night, because I give suspiciously good blowjobs. She you know, take it with pride. Take take it with pride. That's not an L. That's that's a win. I kept talking in an Elmo voice. Oh. E Ugh. I cannot blame you. I cannot blame you. I wouldn't fuck him in his pickup that was parked directly in front of my grandparents' bedroom window. My How do these people even get into relationships to begin with? Oh, this is crazy. My toenails were too red. I disagree. Yeah, okay. I'm starting to think people on Reddit aren't real anymore. Yeah, that is, that is crazy. ...about whether a milkshake was ice cream. Wait, you guys are getting reasons? Her mum didn't want her dating a Mexican. <laughs> I'm a white dude that played soccer and had a tan. She broke up... Holy shit. Yo, that is a full-on racist family. Oh my god. Again, I do not think that you lost something here. Imagine getting married to someone like that, and her entire family is just a bunch of racist pricks. Nah. 
Don't don't be worried. She did you a service. Soccer and had a tan. She broke up with me because she looked through my Steam library and didn't like the games I owned. My okay. Again, what is wrong with you? It's just one absurd reason after another. Like, did these people want to be in relationships to begin with? Probably not. It's probably like some 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 trophy status, just so they can brag about the, about it to their friends. My niece dumped her BF because her first name is Holly and his last name is Jolly. Because I guess I can understand it, but in my opinion, that's still a stupid reason. It's like, ah, I don't, I don't know. To me, it, it seems like a dumb reason. Like if you truly care about the person, you truly love them. Bro, who gives a fuck? I mean, you could also keep your name or something, or don't get married if the name bothers you that much, but come on. Like, what are you going to tell him? You did nothing wrong, but the name you were born with. It just annoys me, so bye. Because I was in hospital on his birthday and was inconsiderate for getting pneumonia on his special day. Excuse me, what the fuck? You should go and thank whatever God you're believing in. Whatever higher entity you look up to, that this happened. Because now you know what the kind, what kind of guy you're dealing with. Oh my god, bro! Your birthday is once every single year. It's nothing special. It's not something like, like the birth of your child or your wedding day. It happens every single fucking year. It happens more, bro. It happens more regular than the World Cup. It's nothing special, what the fuck? I caught a girl cheating on me, then she begged me to give her another chance. Ah, the staple. Decided to give her a second chance. Oh. Oh. It started off bad and it got worse. She broke up with me because she couldn't be with someone who could condone cheating. Ladies and gentlemen, Reddit. Reddit. That, that's all I'm going to say. Girl broke up with me because her grandfather said I was honking at him at a red light. I was in another state. At a girl broke up with me because her grandfather said I was honking at him at a red light. At the time in question, I, 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 I just don't know. Was and even if you did honk at him, so fucking what? I mean, technically, you could have just greeted him with that honk, but... What? I was on a 13-hour flight to Beijing. They passed out complimentary snacks. I opted for pretzels because pretzels. Anyway, a mm -hmm. piece of pretzel went into my air pipe, and I coughed, and fragments of pretzels landed on my girlfriend's Lululemons. She had enough, freaked out at me, and broke up with me 30,000 feet in the sky. Ob, I couldn't stay with her and her family, so I slept at the airport and flew home hours later. Worst Valentine's Day ever. Well Oh my fucking god, that is a nuclear one. The longer it goes, the worse it gets. But honestly, I can't imagine that... For that alone... Why would you break up with someone? Nah. There probably was something going on, something more than that. But if there wasn't, then that's fucking crazy. I think this guy might be the contender for number one here. Well, I hope this video shows relationships are complex and you can be broken up with over the pettiest of things. As a wise, sage, 32-year-old man, I wish I could tell you youngsters that it gets easier as you get older, but I wouldn't know. I've never been dumped. <laughs> Big flex. Big flex. Boy, 
Uh, yeah. I'm starting to believe people on Reddit aren't real. Because what the hell was that? Yeah. Uh, crazy. Crazy. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. A shorter one, but we still made it to 20 minutes regardless. Um, if you did enjoy this video and you have suggestions for new ones, feel free to leave them in the comments. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you guys have a nice Monday. Take care and I hope I will see you in the next video or during one of my streams. Until then, take care. Bye.